Intagic Concrete Mixer Talk. Wow, this has to be cleaned up. So these are our two mixers that we use for ASTMC 192. Uh, these are the mixes that we do here in the lab uh, to make and break concrete and identify what the additives add mixtures that we put into the concrete will do to impact that concrete over a certain age. And these are just a great set of mixers that we love using and we want to show them to you. Normally when we have to do anywhere between one cubic foot to two and a quarter uh, cubic feet, we're going to be using Sasha Juliette over here. And that's what we call this big blue mixer. Um, I believe it's a 2.77 cubic foot capacity mixer and we rarely go over two cubic feet. Anytime we want to go over two cubic feet, we want to use Big Red over here. And Big Red is uh, one of a, 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 one of a, I don't want to say one of a kind, but one of our newest mixers. I mean, you want to talk about one of the smoothest mixers that needs to be cleaned, but this thing just travels like a dream for getting uh, material out of concrete and also to uh, go ahead and mix it up and bring it from the back of the drum all the way to the front. I mean, normally when we're using mixers like Marshalltown over here, we have a hand lever. And it's smooth as all get out, but our last mixer that we had, um, it was old. I mean, it was re got it at a discount. Um, and, you know, we lost a few concrete loads because the the, the, the point that holds the wheel in place actually broke free and, and really just let all that concrete out. And having a good mixer is extremely important and keeping that mixer in good shape to making quality concrete in the lab. Um, and what we try to do is we try to make our mixer last as long as possible and that means good maintenance. And stuff like this right here, this is a perfect example of bad maintenance you actually want to try and keep the concrete off your mixer as much as possible and the best time to clean up that concrete is when the concrete is in its fresh state um, but the last thing I, I really wanted to touch on was how to use these mixers um, this is one of my favorite mixers it's got a, a variable speed motor on it so we can take it from 3 to about 30 rpms and the way you use it now, you know, I apologize if I misrepresent the ASTM. The first thing that you're going to be, you're going to put into your mixer is your 80 to 85% of your, your coarse aggregate, um, as well as your fine aggregate, mix it up for a little bit. Then you're going to throw, uh, what we do is 85% or head water, uh, and let that mix up again. Uh, and then after that, you're going to throw in your cementitious and the rest of your water. And what normally happens is you want to keep your uh, concrete mixer at a nice level, uh, as level as you can get it. So you make sure the cement goes all the way to the back and it doesn't get stuck up front or vice versa. And then from there, while you're mixing, after you throw your water in, um, what I like to do is I like to bring the mixer down so the concrete hugs the edge over here. And the reason why I like doing that is twofold. One, to uh, add another different, or add a different type of folding action to the mix. And two, it gives, my, it gives me the ability to check the back of the drum and make sure there isn't any concrete or sand packing in the back side. And you can do the same thing with uh, the mixer over here. Again, just great tools. If you take care of them, they'll last you a real long time. My Uncle Richard, he bought one of his mixers back in 77 or 78 when he first came out to California uh, from England and before we bought this one we were using his mixer and it was just as good if not better so uh, well ours is better because it has a variable speed motor on it so that's freaking awesome anyway so if you got any questions any concrete concerns don't forget to like and subscribe throw them in the comment section below um, hope you're having an awesome day it's bright out here I'm gonna go get a drink of water go concrete Beat asphalt.